You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. So, I believe this is going to be our Remy run. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, our Remy run. So, let's just go ahead and just jump right back into it, guys and gals. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. I heard him walk towards my direction until he emerged from behind a bookcase and spotted me. Oh! Hello, Keegan. I didn't expect you so soon. Anything better to do? Better be safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry, okay. Well, I'm glad to see you again, at any rate. Who was that back there? I guess you heard that, didn't you? That was my superior. She's the Minister of Culture and Arts, which means I'm technically in her employment. Though, generally speaking, I work for the Council at large, not just her. So, this is where you work, huh? Most of the time, yes. It makes you a librarian, I suppose. There's a little more to it. I'm not just in charge of books, but I'm a scholar and study them, and I study them too. For example, if the Council requests knowledge on certain topics like facts, statistics, or other information of interest, it's part of my job to research it and present it to them in an appropriate manner. So basically, you're an expert. <laughs> I guess you came to the right place then. Anyways, was there a particular reason why you wanted to meet me? You're just too damn cute. No! Hello there. So don't say that! Either way, now that you're here, you could help me with something. I've got some books that need to be sorted over there. Alphabetically. Oh, no, the arrangement you see in this library is based on a sophisticated system that sorts everything in a very intuitive manner based on a number of criteria. Genre, author, complexity, and age. As you can probably tell, we have a lot of specimens, just, so just sorting them by alphabet would be far from suf su and efficient. Suf and efficient. Suf and efficient, okay. That's not very intuitive. That doesn't sound very intuitive. <laughs> it is! Basically, these eight books you see over there were all part of a section that was moved, so they have to be sorted into their new area. The problem is their labors are so, labors are so, labels are so old that they've started to fade away, which makes sorting them a little harder. They will get new labels soon, but until then, we'll just have to make do with what we have here. All of them are by Hazika Cal, a writer on the subject of history, and a very prolific one, I might add. You will find the shelf they belong to over there. Now it's just a matter of placing them in the right, right order, from oldest to newest. I've written down everything everything still legible from the old labels here. For someone like you, putting them in order shouldn't be a problem. In any case, I'll be working on something else in the meantime, so let me know once you're done. Hence. The third the third war is directly preceded by the spark. The first war is directly preceded by the inception. Invention is not the third, seventh, or last book. The second war is the fourth book. There's only one book before the first war. The Enlightenment comes at some point after the Third War. Wait, what? Okay, wait a second. So, the first book is... There's only... The Second War is... The... Okay, so the Third War is preceded by the Spark, okay? Invention is not the Third, Seventh... Is not the Third, Seventh, or Last book. The Second War is the Fourth book. Okay, so there is only one book before the First War. Enlightenment comes at some point after the Third War. Okay, so the Third War is directly preceded by the Spark. Enlightenment comes at some point after the Third War. Okay, it's preceded by the Spark. Okay, so the Spark came first. The Spark, okay. So, Spark goes right here. Third War right here. So, First War is directly preceded by the Inception. What the fuck? <laughs> Where do these fit in? Invention is not the third, seventh, or last book, okay? Invention is not the third, seventh, or last book. My god, we have to really do this this late? Good lord, it's almost 12. It's almost 12 and I have been packing. Let's see, the second war is the fourth book. There's only one book before the first war. I'm wondering if that's the spark. There's only one book, no, no. No, that would be Spark the Third War. There would be okay. No.
Only one book before the First War. Enlightenment comes at some point after the Third War. Okay, so the First War is directly preceded by the Inception. Okay. There's only one book before the First War. Okay. Invention is not the third, so it might... Hmm. The Invention. Might be the Invention. The Spark. Fuck, I don't know. Uh... Let's see. The Tribe is the Invention. Probably not. Uh... First book is... Uh... Show books. The First War, The Spark, The Inception... Gonna be the invention, I think. Second book is oh fuck, I'm gonna get all these wrong. Oh my god. The invention. Um uh, someone in the comments, if you could like definitely definitely help me here, I would really enjoy that. I am not enjoying this part. Okay. The second what is the second? Okay. Enlightenment comes at some point after the why does it have to be so what? Why would anyone make a system like this? This is awful. Alright, guys and gals, I'm just gonna... Yeah. For my books, the spark, um... Let's see, the invention, the inception, I already did the last book. Okay, the enlightenment comes at some point after the third war. So the enlightenment would not be the second book. There's the first war... Yeah, there's... Okay, so... I'm an idiot. I did not even... The first book is... The Inception. The second book is... Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. The First War. The second book is The First War. Third book is... Let's uh, show some hints here. Okay. So... Third War, so there's the, first, there's the Inception, there's the First War. And the Invention is not the third, seventh, or last book. Second, So the Second War is the fourth book. Okay. So this is not the third. Not the third. Last book. The Second War is the fourth book, okay? There's only one book before the First War. That would be the Inception. The third War... So it's... Okay, so... Preceded by the spark. Okay, so this is going to be the second war. The spark. And then the third war. So the invention is not the third. Okay, so. That's the fourth. It's not the third. So it could be the fifth. Okay, so. The inception. The inception. The first war. The spark. No. Fuck, why is this complicated? God, the way they have this worded. I don't want this to be the whole damn... Whoa, 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 hold up. What was that? I didn't even see that hand. Okay. The Enlightenment comes at some point after the third... I am hating this. I am absolutely fucking hating this. This is awful. Okay, the third book is... The Invention, The Tribe, The Second War... Uh... Fucking spark. Uh, it's preceded by... Okay, the spark. Um, then we'll do... The fourth book is The Second War. The fifth book is... Show hints. Um, but the invention is on the third, seventh, the last book. Uh, guys, I'm, I gotta zip through this. Can you guys just give me the please answer in the comments? This is gonna be the whole damn video. Um, we're gonna say the fifth book is... The, uh, the Third War, yes. And the sixth book is The Invention. And the seventh book is The Enlightenment. The eighth book is The... I think that's it. Oh, you're done? Let's take a look, then. Now, sorry to disappoint you, but it seems only three books are in the right place. Try again. Ah, f Hey, you guys in the comments. Um, give me the answer. So I'm, this is the best I can do for right now. I see. Let me fix that up for you then. There. That should be it. 
In any case, there's a box here that belongs in storage. You can put that away. I'll uh, finish the last bit of sorting and then we'll be done for the day. Sure thing. Okay. Great. See you in a bit then. Phew! This is heavier than I thought. I lifted the box and carried it towards the shelf. But just as I was about to reach it, I tripped suddenly, sending me to the ground as the contents of the box spilled across the floor. Ow! I scrambled to gather the various items as the voice of the dragon called out to me. Is everything all right? Before I could answer, Remy came around the corner, his face bearing a look of disapproval. He stooped over and helped me pick up the spilled objects. Yeah, I'm fine. I was mainly asking about the priceless artifacts you just dropped. Sorry, well, I guess that my own safety is worthless that much. Sorry. Well, it just looked like things broken, and that could have ended much worse. What's all this stuff anyway? In preparation for your arrival, I wanted to study what knowledge we had on humans. And what did you learn? Heh, <laughs> not much. A human creature such as a hu the human is a creature shrouded in mystery and legend. Yet, yet one we apparently share some history with. Sure, dragon. Tell me, I'm the mythological creature. As the story goes, we dragons were once a primitive and savage civilization, living in caves and whatnot. We fought over. We thought uh, we fought other creatures and amongst each other for resources and territory. One day, however, a human arrived who performed many miracles and gave us the gifts of electricity and reason. It referred to this event as our awakening. What happened to them? Uh, and who were they? They say it was a divine creature, a supernatural being that saved our species by making peace between our clans and uniting us, as their numbers were dwindling from pointless conflicts. And when the deed was done, they ascended to the heavens from where they came, or turned into a dragon and lived among us, ruling with kindness and wisdom until their eventual passing, depending on who you ask. And what do you make of this story? As unlikely as it sounds, there is evidence for the sudden, unprecedented technological advancement in our timeline. We have artifacts from that time that... It couldn't have been built with the knowledge we had back then. I'm starting to think you already have a theory. Indeed, I take it you are familiar with the way the portals, th the portals through which you traveled here actually work? It's simple, really. There are spontaneous wormholes that pop into existence now and then, but their highly unstable nature means that they instantly collapse in on themselves. The machinery of the, the machinery of the portal the machinery of the portal merely stabilizes the wormhole so we may utilize it. We're actually we actually are just taking advantage of a naturally occurring phenomenon. Long story short, but my theory is that this legendary person stumbled upon one of these natural wormholes in the split second it existed, bringing them into our world. Being thrust into an unfamiliar world with no means of return to their, return to their own. Talk about being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or just the right one, if you ask me. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't. we wouldn't be here today. Oh, what I would give to know more about them. How do you know so much about the portal, anyway? We found it a while ago, so we've had time to study it. Not me personally, mind you but it followed its developments with great interest. What else have you discovered about it? Not much, I'm afraid. Um, not much, I'm afraid, but we don't want to take the risk of permanent damage, so we won't do anything rash until we completely understand the technology and can replicate it for ourselves. So far, the only thing it has done for us is locating our port your portal and connecting it to us, and connecting us to it. On the interface, it appears to have more functions, but we haven't been, un we haven't been able to get any of them to work. Cats are over there playing uh, on top of my stuff. We're not even sure it was what it was capable of when we initially turned it on. Only after some time of it being active did we actually find your portal, and only then we were able to make the connection. Making that discovery must have been very exciting, especially when you made contact with us and started exchanging letters with us. Oh, you have no idea! Especially when Reza arrived and he turned out to be a human, of all things. Some people still worship them, you know. You've mentioned that before. How does that work? Do you have some kind of organized religion based around it? Not exactly. It's more like an uh, adoration on a personal level. I'd count myself amongst them if it wasn't for the fact that I consider myself to have a more reasonable approach to it than others. For example, there are those that believe there is much more to your sudden appearance than there really is. I think they expect some sort of miracle from you, similar to what, you, what was ascribed to humans in the past. That's what I expected. Either way, as a scholar, I'm looking forward to seeing everything your PDAs have to offer. Kitty, kitty, what are you doing? You get out of there. I'm gonna squeeze you. 
I could show you sometime. I see. Well, don't worry about explaining them to me. I'm sure you have much more important things to do while you're here. It's just a question of it's just a question of time until one of them ends up with me anyway. Actually, the PDAs are one of the reasons I volunteered to come here. What do you mean? I know them pretty well, enough to explain how they work at least. Of course, that's far from the only reason. I just thought I'd be the kind of person who'd meet all the requirements, and it turned out I was. I see. Uh, it was nice. To, it was nice. To, uh, nice of you to volunteer when you must have known that there would be considerable risks in coming here. You volunteered as well when you came to meet me, didn't you? I wouldn't think this kind of thing would fall under your ju jurisdiction regularly. That is true, but by this point, my interest in these matters shouldn't surprise you. I was more surprised than I, I was more surprised that I arrived under cover of darkness to meet an ambassador. I, though I haven't seen much of you since. Initially, they wanted to have an official reception headed by myself, but in the end, they changed their minds due to security concerns, as I told you back then. I suppose that's also why I'm being escorted by the police all the time. Yeah, that was supposed to be my job, too, until someone from the police department objected and advocated for, for more security. Better be safe than sorry, I suppose. Let me guess, that someone was Maverick. How'd you know that? Yeah, just a hunch. At least I still got to meet you. Were you nervous when you did? Yeah. Oh, that's... Only the braver the foolish wouldn't, wouldn't be. I consider myself neither. <laughs> to be fair, I would have been as well if we didn't already know about humans or Reza. There was a moment of silence between us and our eyes met briefly, when suddenly a loud call echoed through the building. Remy! I better go and see what that is about. Maybe it would be better if you didn't stay out in the open. At the end of the hallway, you can find my office towards the right. Wait for me there. Alright. Dragons, dragons, dragons. So this is your so this is your office, Remy. Rummage through his trash, look at his notebook, drink his what? Look in the mirror, look at his computer. Uh I'm gonna pause that. Do, 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 do. Actually, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here. I've still got some stuff to do before I head out on my new awesome trip. Well, place to live. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, wish me, please wish me luck on my flight. Actually, by the time you see this, I probably will have landed in San Francisco Airport. So, anyway, y'all, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I love you guys. You guys have really helped this channel grow so far. You guys have been the best damn audience I think a guy like me could possibly ever have and uh, I look forward to entertaining you all for many more years there's some big awesome changes coming to this channel this year stay tuned for it all anyway y'all have a good one anyway uh, a little spill. oh yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe ring that notification bell leave a super thanks your tip if you can it always helps until the next video I love you all I'll see you next time bye bye